What's up guys and welcome back to LSJ TV. In today's video, we're gonna do a high volume, high intensity leg workout. We're gonna keep that rest time down and drive those reps up, getting that good volume in, getting that heart rate up, burning as many calories as we can before Ibiza. So it's time to get warmed up, let's get going. Right guys, so first exercise of the day is the king of all leg exercises, squats. But before we did that, we actually took our time warming up, because anyone who knows me, I've been taking the lean fish oils, but there's only so much you can do. I do have bad joints, bad elbows, bad knees, stuff like that. So you see me just in pretty much every video, doing just some general mobility exercises, even warming up the shoulders, because you'll find if you're squatting, if you can imagine like this, you've still got to reach back behind your head to support the bar. So take that time just to warm your entire body, and trust me guys, it will make a big, big difference. So what we're going to do is start off with 60 kilos and then we're going to work our way up to 80 again keeping that rest time down and keeping just doing some pause reps mixing it up a little bit guys just trying to shock the body just to get that heart rate up burn as many calories as possible because as you guys know one of the goals is in 40 something days time now it's coming around fast we have to burn as many calories, get as much weight down as possible before Ibiza. Second exercise of the day is leg press, another quad movement. What we're gonna do with this one, guys, is just make sure to drive through your heels. You don't want to be on your tiptoes. That just puts even more strain on your knees. And also, one more tip, just don't lock out at the top. Try and stop just before you lock out. That, again, is gonna protect the knees, protect the joints, and prolong the amount of time that you can keep on training, guys. And as we know, you can't make gains if you're not in the gym. So look after yourselves, guys. Take care with good form, and then you'll be good. A little bit of a funny order to today's workout, guys, but because the leg press, as you can see over there, was fully stacked, we decided to skip straight to the calf extensions, because we normally do that just to round off the workout and finish off with, well, the exercise that everybody likes to skip. So we made sure to get it in while the, while the leg press was still fully stacked. Pause in at the top, one, two, and then a nice controlled negative. As you can see on the clip I'm putting on the screen now, I like to put my feet on the bar rather than on the plate that's given for the leg press. Purely because that allows you to go below 90 degrees and get a real good stretch in the muscles and really get the most out of the movement. So following on from that, what I'm gonna do is lower, lower down the weight for today. I'm doing stiff-legged deadlifts. I would usually do 60 kilos, but I'm keeping that rest time down and that intensity up and doing 50 kilos and doing 10 reps instead of eight as well, guys. So. Give it a try if you want, guys. Just don't be scared to mix up your workouts. Let's get going. Just finishing up stiff-legged deadlifts, and if I can give you guys one tip, not just for stiff leggeds, but for just, just leg training in general. Always assume, if no one ever gives you any advice and you're sort of a beginner in the gym, then always assume you just have your feet shoulder width apart, be nice, strong, have a nice stable foundation before you go into the movement, and then always push through the heel, because if you're pushing up on your tiptoes, like so, that is how you're gonna injure yourself and you're gonna fuck yourself up before you even get into the gym and it'll put you off. So really take your time, really focus on that mind to muscle connection and establish that foundation before you go too heavy and start injuring yourself. Final movement of the day is gonna be a superset. We're gonna superset the leg isola isolation movements. Because we actually did calf raises earlier, we're supersetting leg extensions and hamstring curls. So what we've done is just put 35 on here and then we can just take the 15 off for the superset and that'll be the perfect weight for me anyway, guys, using this home gym. So what you wanna do is pause for two seconds at the top of each movement guys really focusing on breaking those muscle fibers down and getting the most out of the movement as much as you possibly can it's really really important because people tend to just kind of almost wimp out a little bit on leg day because it's a bit more difficult than the rest at the end of the day guys you're going to get the most progress out of training legs because if you think about it you are training half of your body if you don't train legs you're not training half of your body and then eventually if you end up getting hooked on the gym you end up want to compete and you've only trained chest and shoulders and back or whatever for like five years your legs are five years behind. If the gym is something you are serious about and you want to stay consistent at and you want to adapt to this kind of lifestyle, then I would recommend, please, 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 please do not skip leg day. And that is going to be the final message of today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm also going to do a Q&A over the next few weeks. So post a comment or a question on, or, DM, or DM me on any form of social media, guys, if you are interested in any of that. As always, remember, no regrets. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.